change the world. I'm Leo. Hello, friends of the internet. Welcome and welcome back to Coffee Over Apples. This is the mid year freak out book tag. This year has been a little bit different for me because I've only read 27 books. And I think part of that is because I really am taking my time with books to process them. I'm not rushing through things. I'm not like overfilling my TBR. So because it's low pressure for me, I'm taking my time. Also, I've been reading a lot of chonkers. So you know what? The book count may be low, but the page count is not. Question number one, best book you've read this year so far? Okay, there's two books tied in my mind, but I'm going to specifically just talk about one of them, which I did a fan art review for recently. It's This Is How You Lose the Time War by Amal Amaltar and Max Gladstone. This book was hyped on the internet, and I'm very iffy with books that are hyped. I don't usually pick up books because they're hyped. They need to be hyped up by the right people for me. And a bunch of people who I consider friends said this was amazing, and they were right. It's amazing. If you haven't read it, go read it. It's the best sci-fi romance I have ever read. I laughed, I giggled, I cried. It just made me feel all the feelings. And I need to get a copy of this book to have on my shelf because it is going to be an instant reread. Number two, best sequel you've read this year. Another book which I did fan out for recently was Mistletoe and Michigas, which is an adult queer romance by M.A. Wardell. I love this book and it's another one that I don't have on my shelf. There's a bunch of books that I read this year that I love that I got from libraries or like read as ebooks and I need them. I physically need them. It's a visceral need. This book was so cute and I don't even care that I read it out of the holiday season. It was so cute. I love this book. Uh, it is a, it's part of the teacher's romance series or teacher's in love series. So the main characters, one is a like first grade teacher and the other one is the school janitor. And uh, they are shenanigans because they both need dates for the holidays and uh, it's super tropey and that's okay because I loved it. Number three is a new release that you haven't read yet. I've had this on my shelf for what feels like a minute now, An Education in Malice by S.T. Gibson. This is in the same series or like universe as A Dowry in Blood. And uh, I love that. I love that so much. So I'm hoping that I equally love this as much. And it's just, it's just beautiful. If you haven't heard about it, it's supposed to be a retelling of Carmilla. I don't know how many more books are going to be in this series, but they're all supposed to be like vampiric retellings. And they're queer and they're great and you should read them. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. It's a manga. I have a manga and I have a novel, okay? In October... The Magic the Gathering manga, Destroy All Humans, They Can't Be Regenerated is coming out and I need it. It's also going to come with, if you pre-order it, like a special edition print of a card. Um, so that'd be cool to have, but it's finally getting translated into English and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. If this is your first time here, hi, I love Magic the Gathering. Um, it's a hobby that pops up a lot on this channel, especially in like vlogs and stuff. Um, so as soon as I get my hands on that... I will be vlogging it, I will be reading it, I, I probably will be falling in love with it. Uh, it is a rom-com. It's a TCG rom-com, you guys. I'm very excited. Um, the novel that I'm very excited to hopefully get, assuming it comes out in December like it's supposed to, would be Heavenly Tyrant by Ziran J. Zhao. This is the sequel to Iron Widow. And uh, if you haven't read that, that was another one that I gave five stars a long time ago. So this has been coming down the pipeline for a hot minute. The next question is biggest disappointment of the year. I made a video about this in which I was cooking, making cookies while I rented about this book. This is actually the first book in the Teachers in Love series. So the one that comes before Mistletoe and Michigas, which is like one of my faves of the year, super surprising. This one sucked <laughs> and I made a whole video about it. But I mean, that, I think that mostly it was like a lot of taste things for me. So you might like this more than I uh, didn't like this. I think I see why a lot of other people like it. Um, there are a lot of plot things that just didn't work for me. And this I think was the debut by the author. So book two just was so much better. Go read book two. Biggest surprise of the year. 
definitely has to go to Human Acts by Hong Kong. Hong Kong is the same writer that wrote The Vegetarian, which was very popular online for a while. And I read that a long time ago, loved it, and then for a while thought, huh, you know, I don't really trust like old me because my taste has changed over the years. I don't know if this writer still does it for me. Pick this up, absolutely adore this book and need to read everything that Hong Kong ever wrote. I love this book. This is about the Guangzhou Uprising. I think I might be saying that correctly. Don't quote me on that though exactly. Um, so it is like a historical retelling almost because the author interviewed family members of people who did not survive that uh, massacre. So this is based on real life events in South Korea in like the 19, early 1980s, late 1970s, um, in which the government was doing some pretty messed up things. Um, and so it's like taking the POV of different people who we don't necessarily know what happened in their last minutes, but there were other people around them who were kind of like there before everything exploded. Um, and so we get that with permission from the families and it's great. It's so good. I mean, a whole review about it. Please go watch it. And um, if you haven't read Hong Kong, I highly recommend that you do. The next question is new favorite author. I don't know if I necessarily have a new favorite author. I mean, Hong Kong might be the closest to that. Another option would be Xi Jin Liu. However, I say this with caveat, I love the way Xi Jin Liu writes hard sci-fi. This man can write hard sci-fi and make it so fun. But this again is because it's a taste thing because a lot of the, my other friends in the uh, sci-fi book club didn't vibe with this as much as me and a few other people did. So take that with a grain of salt. If you watch the show, the show is so much different from the book. They very much westernized the show when it came out on Netflix, uh, but I wasn't mad at it. They added some cool things, which were great. The main story was pretty similar so far. Uh, but I highly recommend this book and I love it. The only, the reason that there's a caveat with that is just because like character development who? <laughs> Non-existent. I do not think that Xi Jin Liu is the greatest character writer, but my God, the plots are so much fun. Next question is new fictional crush. I mean, who else would it be except Senshi? <laughs> Um, so this isn't book related because I like don't really have uh, fictional crushes in books very often, not very often, like very few and far between. Um, but since she's probably my favorite character from anything that I've seen, read, or watched this year. So if you haven't watched Delicious in Dungeon, it's it, it's it's worth the hype. It really is. It's very funny. Book that made you cry. I already talked about this. It, I was sobbing. I was sobbing like a baby. I was sitting there in my coffee cup reading before I get started with my date and I don't know what kind of decision I made in that moment because it broke my heart and I had to like suck it up and go to work. So don't read this before you have something really important to do. A book that made you happy. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, right? Um, so this isn't happy, <laughs> but it made me happy because I haven't read as much horror this year as I would really like to. It just has not really been coming up in my TBR games at all. Um, so this has been filling that void for me and I love it. I'm having a great time. I'm just vibing. It's my first time reading Berserk. I did a whole vlog where I read volumes one through six of the manga, which I have, or like the first two in this Leatherbound editions. And I have plenty more that are planned for like the next year because I'm slowly working through the entire series. But it made me happy because I love horror. It's a good time. Most beautiful cover that you've bought or received this year, earlier in the year, I read Lore and Lust, The Awakening. This is book three in the Lore and Lust series. This is an indie author named Carla Nicole. If you're into vampires and adult romance, I really love this one. It's so good. It's queer and it's one of the best like vampire romances that I've read in a really long time. Uh, I think I said this before, about this book but it's like this is one of the few books where I actually really like the third act breakup because it seemed necessary like who am I what books do you need to read by the end of the year I need to 
finished the three body problem series. This is book three, Death's End. I read book two earlier in the year and loved it. Um, so I just got to finish this one, but it's thicker than the rest of them. It's huge. So I'm going to try to finish that uh, so I can be done with the series. I would have read an entire series in a year. Isn't that great? I don't do that very often. Also, this is like, I feel guilty <laughs> because I said in the beginning of the year that my goal was to read books four, five, and six in The Expanse, and I haven't even picked up book four yet. I could blame my TBR game, but I'm not. I'm gonna blame me instead. I'm the problem, it's me. Let me know in the comments what your answers to these prompts are. I have a Patreon where you can support my channel. I'll also get downloadable content of coloring pages of fan art based on the books that I read. And I have a coffee page where you can buy me a coffee and support. Anyway, I post videos whenever I feel like it. Thanks for watching, bye. Here we go.